Is this bourbon right here maple syrup and pancakes or am I just crazy? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new video. On the bar top, we've got two bourbons that were sent to me from RD1, and I cannot wait to get into these glasses right here because I've had these poured for about 15 minutes now, and the noses coming out of these glasses is absolutely incredible. But before we get into the bottles themselves, I gotta thank you guys so much for the love and support. We have surpassed 4,400 subscribers on the channel, and we are on our way to 4,500. Keep giving the channel love. I love you for it. Drop that like if you enjoyed enjoy the content. Smash the subscribe button for your chance to win a bottle of Blends and for my opportunity to open that bottle right there. And uh, if you've had your opportunity to try RD1, leave a comment down below on what your thought processes were on these offerings. I've got... I'll let you know what we've got on the shelf. On the left hand side here, we've got the Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, double finished in oak and maple barrels. This is coming in at 99.9 .9 proof. And I did a little research on this bottle right here. This is not just regular American oak, it is finished with a French oak barrel that was then infused with maple syrup. And holy bajoli, I'll tell you right now, ugh. That is incredibleness in a glass. And then on the right here, everybody is in this Amberana craze, right? And you guys know I, how much I enjoy a nice Amberana finished bourbon. And, you know, my favorite is the Penelope uh, Rio. We've gotten the chance to try the barrel um, Amberana finish. And RD1 decided to come out with their own as well. So this is... Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished with a Brazilian Amberana wood, but this is coming in at 110 proof. So you can't go wrong with that, right? But before we get into drinking and nosing these bourbons, two things. Check out the Patreon. For as little as $2 a month, you can support the channel like you wouldn't believe. I will most likely be doing giveaways of samples of these two bottles right here so that you can get your chance to try it out. And we're getting into the chilly weather. If you want your chance, to get your everyday drinker sweatshirt swag, go check out the store. Link is down below. I just put out a new line of sweatshirts and hats and whatnot, so there's something for everybody to enjoy over at the store. So go check that out, and uh, without further ado, let's get in a bottle number one. We're gonna get another one on our left here, the maple barrel finished hoo ba boo da ba right? All right, so here we go. Um, so this is going to be kind of like a take on um, the, 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 the Widow Jane Decadence, right? Maple barrel finished, right? But I can tell you right now, it's going to be a little bit more desserty than the Widow Jane Decadence. Because off of this nose, I'm getting a very, very mapley syrup pancake batter punch to the face. And it, it is very sweet. I will let you know that right now. It is sweet. But you still get the ambiance that there's bourbon in this glass. It, just, it lets you know that it's there, but the prevalent note is that sweet maple-y aspect that comes through. And it's almost like I'm getting a lot of apple off of this. And it's almost like you drizzled maple syrup on top of apples and then threw it in a pie and you had like a maple syrup apple pie in a way. Because I'm getting that breadiness, I'm getting that apple, but that maple syrup, spicy cinnamon coming through, it's one of those things that it just blends so well together. Maple syrup and bourbon belong together in a lot of ways and this could very well be a really nice fall sipper. I'm not quite sure how many states this is sold in, but I know it's not here in Jersey. And I'm very, very glad that they sent these my way to do a review for you guys. But again, apples, bread, cinnamon, maple syrup are those prevalent notes that are coming out of this. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the palate and see if everything comes out from the nose onto the glass. Cheers. It drinks so pleasantly at 99.9 .9 proof it's 
the maple, you, you get this maple quality coming through on it. But it also has a very rich vanilla. And I'm going to guess that, that is coming from the French oak staves that were in that barrel. It drinks so light and easy like a weeded bourbon does. But holy cow, it's, it's, it is almost as if you have pancakes and you just drizzled some maple syrup over top. But it's not, it's almost as if you just did your first layer of maple syrup, right? You put that maple syrup and it sunk into the pancakes and that was your bite. You didn't have that extra layer of maple syrup on top where those pancakes are already saturated and then you just have that extra maple syrup. These are, it's just like a maple syrup drunken um, pancake without any extra on top. And it's got this little touch of like you did a little, poof, little poof, dusting of cinnamon on top. <sighs> a lot of people might say that this is a really good fall time sipper, but I'm gonna push this. And I'm gonna say that this is a really good winter sipper. Like this is something that is like, you would pour this Christmas morning. It's, it's a holiday morning sip and an enjoyment like you wouldn't believe. Ah, it's so good. It's almost like you want to put that in the pancake batter itself. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But before we get into bottle number two, we have to have a word from today's sponsor. Hey man, what are you doing over there? Oh, hey man, I want to give 270's website. What are they doing? Another fundraiser? Oh, you betcha give 270 is doing another fundraiser and this one is amazing. They're giving away a truck this time, a 2023 F-150 Lightning Lariat Edition, along with a Weller foolproof bottle and the passenger seat. And that's not it. They're also giving away bottles of bourbon. Says right here, now through October 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, purchase a $100 ticket to support this exciting fundraiser and get your chance to win. Each ticket has a chance to win a grand prize, the Big grand prize, that 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning Lariat Long Range and a bottle of Weller Foolproof, or one of the 49 bourbon prizes during the live drawing on Wednesday, October 25th. But the one thing is, is they have to sell 3,500 tickets for them to give away that truck. So let's make sure that everybody knows that to go to give270.org to go purchase their $100 ticket to get their chance to win a freaking truck. But don't fret, if the truck is not sold, they're still giving away some amazing, amazing prizes. If less than 2,000 tickets are sold, the grand prize winner is going to win the entire BTAC lineup. Second prize is going to win a bottle of Pappy Van Winkle 23 year. Third prize is going to win a bottle of Pappy 20 year. Fourth prize is going to win a bottle of Pappy 15 year. And fifth prize is going to win a bottle of Van Winkle Lot B. But if they sell 3,500 tickets or more, Grand prize winner is going to get their hands on that F-150 Lightning and a bottle of Weller Foolproof, where second place is going to win the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Third place is going to get their hands on the Pappy Van Winkle 23 year. Fourth place, Pappy Van Winkle 20 year. And fifth place is going to get their hands on that Pappy Van Winkle 15 year. I don't know about you, but I have to go buy a ticket right now. But you're running away from your laptop. You have to buy it on there. So make sure to go check out give270.org for your chance to win some amazing bottles of bourbon along with the opportunity to walk away with the grand prize of a Ford F-150 Lightning Lariat Edition. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, Give270 has dropped the amount of tickets from 3,500 to 2,000. So make sure you go check out Give270. Link is down below. But without further ado, let's get into this big heavy proof or 110 proof Amberana wood finished bourbon right here. And uh, let's see, how is this nose comparable to this delicious, delicious bottle right here? I think a lot of these companies are learning that Less is more. Now, I am getting that cinnamon snickerdoodle, but this has a little bit more honey aspect than the barrel uh, batch did. It almost has this um, very, very um, distinct shaved toasted coconut aspect to it as well. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of toasted coconut. It's nutty, I'm getting a little peanut. But that snickerdoodle cookie is just wrapping everything together so nicely. 
I, wow, yeah. I mean, I already finished the barrel uh, Amberana, but let's see. Golly, these things get stuck. All right, we're not, we're... I can't open it, I can't open it, I can't open it. But, nonetheless, nonetheless, back to where we need to be. I like this nose a lot and I can stick my nose deep into that glass and not get any of that ethanol burn from 110 proof. And you guys will know my favorite proofers are from 107 to 115. So this is right smack dab in the middle and I can't wait to get into this nose. It's very, very, this is a bourbon that is, it, it, it's got that amber on in this, but it's again, not overpowered. And a lot of people will enjoy this um, because it's not overpowered. You're getting that toasted coconut. I'm getting a little bit more of a vanilla aspect out of this. And it's, you get that bourbon quality from this. Without further ado, cheers to you. It's oak forward. It really is. You're not getting that Amberana oak forwardness. This is original oaky um, coming through. I'm getting a little bit more of a peanut aspect off of this. It's very dry. It's very nutty. But then on that tail end, you're getting that swish of cinnamon that comes through. And the finish, more or less, has that Amberana quality. Whereas a lot of other Amberana uh, finished bourbons have the amber on a quality on the initial and then it subsides at the end but this comes through at the end and you're getting that more bourbon quality coming through on the beginning oh yeah that is a it's a different ride compared to everything i amber on a finished i've had so far and i mean i don't know if you guys can see those legs but holy cow is that bad boy thick she thick right there She's thick and she's delicious. And again, Amberana is something that I would tend to lean towards in the fall time. And I'll let you know that this is a fall time sipper as well. But like I said, this maple barrel finished RD1 is a really, really good go into the winter kind of bourbon. And man, these are both really good bottles. I believe they're also both under 70 bucks MSRP, which you can't go wrong with whatsoever. So if I had to pick my favorite out of the two, you guys are going to be surprised at this again. I'm going to lean towards the more desserty style, the maple syrup barrel finished bottle over the Amberana. Now that does not mean that the Amberana is bad whatsoever. I enjoyed this so, so much, but I'm looking into the future of the holiday season and the winter and what I am going to want then. And this bottle hits that need and that want for the future. And I cannot wait to dive into this in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment down below and smash that subscribe button for your chance to win a bottle of Blanton's single barrel bourbon. But until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.